Himalayas, the guard of our nation. The Himalayan mountain ranges are called the house of snow. The Himalayas stretch from Jammu and Kashmir in the northwestern part of India to Arunachal Pradesh in the easternmost part of India. They further stretch to form a border between India and Myanmar. This part of the Himalayan ranges is known as Purvanchal ranges. The following parts of our country lie in the Himalayan ranges. Jammu and Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh in the northwestern part of the ranges, Uttarakhand and the northern part of West Bengal in the central part of the ranges, Arunachal Pradesh and Sikkim in the eastern part of the ranges, Manipur, Mizoram, Tripura and Meghalaya in the Purvanchal part. The Mount Everest of the Himalayan ranges is the highest peak in the world. It is 8,848 meters high. It lies in Nepal. The highest peak in India is the Mount Kanchanjunga, which is at the border between India and Nepal. The other high peaks are Dholagiri, Manaslu, Nanda Devi, etc. Focus Sir Edmund Hillary of New Zealand and Tenzing Norgay of India were the first men to climb Mount Everest in 1953. In 2003, the 50th anniversary of the conquest of the Mount Everest was celebrated in Nepal in the presence of Sir Hillary. Ranges of the Himalayas The Himalayan mountains consist of three ranges. They are as follows. The Great Himalayas Himadri, the Middle Himalayas, Himachal, the Outer Himalayas, Shivalik, the Great Himalayas. This Great Himalayas is also known as Himadri. This is the highest range in the world and is always covered with snow. Slow-moving mass of ice called glaciers are found in this range. Rivers like the Ganga, Yamuna, Satluj and Ravi originate from the Great Himalayas. Life is not possible in this region, so no plants grow and no animals live here. Focus The Himalayas is the tallest and the youngest mountain range of the world. The Middle Himalayas This Middle Himalayas is also known as Himachal. Many hill stations like Shimla in Himachal Pradesh, Nainital and Masuri in Uttarakhand, and Darjeeling in West Bengal lie on the lower slope of this range. Some religious places like Kedarnath and Badrinath also lie in this region. The mountain slopes are covered with thick forests of deodar and pine. Fruits like apples, pears, almonds and plums are found in the middle Himalayas. Summers are pleasant so many tourists visit this range in summers. The Outer Himalayas This range, also known as the Shivalik Range, is the lowest of all the three ranges. The region to the south of the Shivalik is called Terai. Most of this region lies in Uttarakhand. This region has long grasses and thick forests. These thick forests are the home of many wild animals like tigers, leopards and elephants. The Kobit and Dudva National Parks are some of the famous national parks of India. The northeastern hills of this range are full of forests with teak trees. These hills include the Naga, Lushai, Garo, Khasi and Jantai hills. The climate in this region is hot and wet. So we find tea gardens. Focus. In Nepal, people called the Himalayas by the name Sagarmatha, that means the goddess of the universe. The Tibetans called it Chomolungma.